let me show you how to draw a flowchart using program called diagrams.net. It's also called draw.io and that's a web-based program. So you can just head to diagrams.net or draw.io and start a new blank project. You will end up with this empty page just like me. Now we can click plus more shapes on the left and be sure your flowchart shapes are turned on. So just click here in the checkbox and then apply. Now we can open this whole flowchart group and it's really easy. We just need to just drop and drag those shapes to our page. If you hover your mouse, you will see what this shape is for. So if you cannot remember, you can always wait for the prompt here. All right, this one or this one, they can be both used as the start shape. So I drag it out. Now I need some kind of process for like step one, two, three. So I search for a rectangle like shape. You can even stretch it a bit. It's vector based, so you will not lose any quality. So that's a good stuff. And if you want to type inside, just double click on it and then you can type your instruction in. If you like to modify the text, you can select the text and then on the right you will see some text formatting options like size, font, color and overall style of it. If you click on the shape, then there are some styles for the shape as well that are predetermined. But you can decide yourself about the fill color, line, line style. All of that can be adjusted on the right side in the style panel. So we got style, and then we got text, and then we got arrange. Three panels, very handy. They are all on the right side. All right, let's go back to it. Then let's say we got some kind of decision. So we search for the decision block. Decision can go both ways. So we can go to the right or to the left. So again, we need a process block. I already got one here. So I will just copy and paste this one. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. And then we need to end our flowchart. In most cases, you can end with the very same one that you use for the starter. So the circle one like that, we can put it as the end as well. Oval here. You can name it end. This one can be start. And now the question is how we can join them all together. It's really simple. Just hover your mouse until you can see this green indication, like this little green circle. Click on it and you can drag out the line. Now stick this line to the next block. You can even customize the style of this line, how thick it should be, what color. Do you need an arrowhead or no? You can customize it over here. And if you like this style, you can even set it as default. So the next line we're making will be exactly the same. So now I hover my mouse here and I pull the line from this shape here. I hover my mouse here, stick it to this guy. Same on this side. And this will bring us to the end of the flowchart. The good thing about diagramming software like this one, like versus doing this in some kind of different program that is not designed for diagrams, like let's say you want to just do it in Procreate or Microsoft Word. In this case, our connectors will are sticky. Take a look. Even I move this around, the lines are still maintaining the original flow. So the lines are sticky, so it's easy to modify and reformat your diagrams. So that's how you can design a flowchart using draw.io, also called diagrams.net. It's a free website without any ads or features behind paywalls and stuff like that. So it's, it's really great for like academic or professional purposes. I hope this short tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next draw.io tutorial.